I love the Frieza saga. You know, you feel like everybody could die. The stakes are so high. <laughs> Hey yo, what it do? My name is George something and welcome back to a brand new tier maker video where I rank shit. As you all know, I am the world heavyweight champion. I say whatever the fuck I want in this channel. So shout out to Pixter, he's the one who made this. Of course, I modified the tier list a bit. I just changed the uh, these things right here. So we got Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 1, and Base 4. You know the drill, I'm gonna rank them by power levels or power level forms. So Super Saiyan God being the strongest form out of all these forms right here. Whatever is in the Super Saiyan God is the best arc for me. In my opinion, of course, this is an opinionated list. Before I start this video, I just want to tell everyone to go ahead and join the Hood Gang Network today. It only costs $2.99. It helps the channel and it helps the cause. And with that out of the way, let us start. Starting with the Emperor Pilaf Saga. Yup, this is classic Dragon Ball. This is the beginning. So I'ma have to put it in the... Actually, you know what? Super Saiyan 3. Up next, we got the 21st World Martial Arts Tournament. Now, you know what? Classic Dragon Ball with their classic fighting styles. No forms. No planet-destroying moves. It's just classic martial arts. It's fun to watch, alright? It's like a martial arts show so I, I i love it red ribbon army saga now i think this is the saga where goku fought these powerful commanders in the red ribbon army plus the concept of the red ribbon army i like it it's gonna be a tough one i mean there are better arcs oh, okay this is very fucking hard ah! okay let's put it on super saiyan 2 i love the arc but there are better arcs shit Fortune Teller Baba Saga. You know, this uh, Grandpa Gohan at the end. Um, damn, this is hard. Son of a bitch. I'm having a hard time doing this video. 22nd World Martial Arts Tournament. Now, this one, I gotta put it on too. King Piccolo Saga. King Piccolo, goddammit, man. He's just a great villain. Pure evil. Back when he was a demon and not a Namekian. We're getting to that part of Dragon Ball now where the stakes are higher now. King Piccolo, it's a classic saga. Now let's put it on Super Saiyan God tier because this is where it all began. You know, the stakes getting higher or some shit. Piccolo Jr. Saga. Goku right here is not a kid anymore. This is very brutal. Have you seen the fight? Goku versus Piccolo? Shit, it's very fucking brutal you know there's a big gaping hole in goku's chest right here and it's very bloody like goku screaming in pain i love this saga now the saiyan saga the body count on here like a lot of people died in this saga the saiyan saga this is where it all began now what i like about dragon ball z is each saga picked off from the last one it's like everything fits together there is always a callback from the previous saga and you feel like it's very cohesive so this is where it all began i love the fights here it has some dragon ball-y you know, some of the fights in this saga feels like early Dragon Ball and the art style. Early Dragon Ball and it's very brutal. Goku vs Vegeta, Raditz vs Piccolo and Goku, Nappa killing everybody. Fucking brutal, man. Now we got the Namek saga. It's very slow, like the first parts of the Namek saga I would... Now from what I remember, it's very... It's like a cat and mouse game, it's like, oh... It's like they're trying to hide from Frieza and the Frieza Force. It's very iconic, but I gotta put it here. Frieza Saga, where it all began. Goku's Super Saiyan form. This, my friends, has to go in the Super Saiyan God here. I love the Frieza Saga, you know, you feel like everybody could die. 
The stakes are so high. If they fail to defeat Frieza, then the entire Namek trip would be futile. It would all be for nothing. And the stakes are super high, especially with that fight with Goku and Frieza, plus the longest. Was it the longest anime fight of all time? Goku versus Frieza? Yeah, for, from what I've heard, I, I think it's the longest fight. Androids! Um, the, the Cell Saga is better. Yeah, I'm just... I'm gonna put it here. Cell Saga. Cool villain. And there's a lot of cool moments during the Cell Saga. Him swallowing or, or absorbing the androids. Now we got the Cell Games Saga. You all know me. I love this saga. Gohan with the Super Saiyan 2 and all the transformation. Everybody fighting Cell. That final Kamehameha with everyone helping Gohan with Bruce Fall Connors music, such an iconic scene! I love this! <laughs> what is this, 15th World Martial Arts Tournament? I think it was pretty boring, it's just a uh, very boring saga, so I'm gonna put it on base form. It's not bad, I just don't feel it, especially with the whole great scene, man. Now we got Majin Buu Saga. Now the entire Majin Buu Saga, there are parts there where, God damn it, why didn't they do that? If they did this, then everybody would be saved. I don't know, there's a bunch of parts here where the characters are stupid. Actually, you know what? The characters are stupid. Let's put it in <laughs> Cell Saga, <laughs> especially Vegeta. Majin Buu Saga, yeah, I'm gonna put it here. Fusion Saga, isn't it the Kid Buu Saga or what? Or what? Um, final fight with Kid Buu. Actually, you know what? The entire Majin Buu Saga, Fusion and Majin Buu Saga. It's uh, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna put it here because there are fond memories during the Majin Buu Saga as well as Goku going Super Saiyan three. And the fight with Kid Buu and Vegeta admitting that Goku is better. There's a ton of cool moments, but Cell and Frieza Saga will always be the better sagas in my opinion. Battle of the Gods Saga! Where it all began, where we started to go into the realm of the gods! Goku going god mode right up in this shit. I like the concept of a god mode. Yeah, this will be higher. Resurrection F Saga. Now, this one right here, like, Frieza training for four months and now he's surpassed Cell. He's surpassed Majin Buu and everybody. Now I kind of get it. They want to bring back an old villain, an old character. Not a big fan of the, the whole Frieza coming back. It's like Palpatine. Somehow Palpatine returned. Gasp! <laughs> nah, nah, man. But I do like the Super Saiyan Blue form. Universe 6 Tournament Saga. Multiverse fighting. There's not a real villain here, so... Nah. I don't, I don't feel it. Let's let's put it here. Goku Black Saga. Now I love this saga. There's actually a villain. Actually, Goku Black Zamasu. Now that is what what would I call a villain? I do not count Frieza because he is a Dragon Ball Z villain. But during Dragon Ball Super, I think the only real villain here is Goku Black. You know. With real stakes, pure evil. Yeah, it goes to the Super Saiyan God category. I do like the concept that there is a god that's a villain. And they have a hard time defeating this one. They had to bring in Zeno just, just to defeat uh, Zamasu. Although I do find it cheap that Zeno is the one who defeated Zamasu. But they made Zamasu super powerful that they had to bring a stronger god just to kill that god yeah i think it's good enough universe survival arc now i like the universe survival but there is no real villain of this arc you could argue oh jiren is the main villain they're all just fighters trying to fight for their universes if there is a villain it would be goku <laughs> because he's the one who started this whole universe <laughs> tournament in the first place because he wanted to fight stronger 
people, right? Universe survival, there, there's not a real villain, so I'm gonna have to put it here. I mean, there are good parts, but overall, as an arc, as a saga, no real villain. I don't like it. So, this is my final list. Dragon Ball Sagas. Gear list. What are your thoughts on this? Do you agree with this list or you don't agree with this list? Put it in the comments below and let me know. Join the Hood Gang Network today. It only costs $2.99. It ain't nothing if it's from George something. I'd the world heavyweight.